It's been more than five years in the making, but finally Kiwi producer Lizzie Gillette's critically acclaimed documentary, The Age of Stupid, premiered in London last night. Film boffins are already describing it as the natural follow-on to Al Gore's An Inconvenient Truth. Rachel Smalley met up with Lizzie Gillette in London. It's like looking through binoculars, observing people on a far-off beach, running around in circles, fixated on the small area of sand under their feet as a tsunami races towards the shore. The age of stupid is ambitious. It's the hottest day ever recorded. A mix of animation, drama and factual news content. It's set in the future in a devastated world. If I knew now how hard it was going to be to make the film and all the things we were going to go through, I would definitely do it. It's been incredible. I mean, when you see people at a screening crying after the film and coming up to you and saying, I'm going to change my life, and when you see politicians really listening to what you've said in your film, I mean, I would definitely do it again. We wouldn't be the first life form to wipe itself out. But what would be unique about us is that we did it knowingly. The Age of Stupid team took a punt, asking Oscar-nominated actor Pete Postlethwaite for a nominal fee to play the lead role, an ageing archivist from the year 2055, trawling back over today's news footage. So we contacted him through his agent, and I think it was December the 17th, about 3 o'clock, um, must have been 2007, when he emailed to say, I'll do it. And when he agreed, I mean, that kind of ratcheted up the film into a whole nother level. It's a film, Gillett says, about denial. Denial that she feels strongly in New Zealand. She believes we're falling behind the rest of the world in our approach to climate change. The politicians in New Zealand are still debating whether climate change is really happening and, and whether it's man-made. They've kind of gone back 10 years behind what's happening in the rest of the world. So New Zealand could definitely step up. Even the UK, she says, is ahead of New Zealand, with its emissions bill in place and think tanks urging the public to think before they buy, think before they invest, think before future generations look back on our era as the age of stupid. If there is one overwhelming theme that this film attempts to keep driving home, it is this, that while we may have learnt how to profit from our planet, we haven't yet learnt how to protect it. In December, when world leaders meet to sign an agreement on greenhouse gas emissions, Gillett's film will be used by climate activists to lobby politicians. But her documentary is already on the political radar. The politicians have been coming directly to us instead of the public groundswell rising and then pressuring the politicians. I mean, so far we've screened in the UK Parliament, the Dutch Parliament, the EU Parliament. We've got them all lining up. Obama's think tank has asked us to screen there. And also Kofi Annan is hosting a screening, so it's actually working the other way around so far. The film has been five years in the making. A labour of love, says Lizzie Gillett, that she hopes will encourage people to rethink the role they play in the future of the planet. The question I've been asking is, why didn't we save ourselves when we had the chance? Is the answer because, on some level, we weren't sure if we were worth saving? New Zealanders will get to see The Age of Stupid later this year. It's scheduled for release in June or July.